Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create fireworks animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. The awesome fireworks animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. First, you have a photo of a cityscape. Then, on pressing enter, you will have three different explosions happening and all three of them look as realistic as you can imagine. How did I create this realistic animation effect? Let us learn from scratch. There are a few things that you require to create this effect. The first thing is a photo of a cityscape. You can find your favorite cityscape photo from any of the public domain sites. I got mine from pixabay.com. Then there are a few shapes that we need to create to create the effect and the shapes are this, this and this. I'll show you how to create these shapes from scratch and then I'll show you how to animate them so you get the beautiful explosion effect. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon. In auto shapes menu, I'm going to pick up a tool under rectangles. It is called as round same side corner rectangle. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to draw the shape on my slide. Then I'm going to hold this yellow handle I'm going to move it to the center so my shape has a full curvature on top. Then I'm going to fill this shape with a gradient fill. So I'm going to right click on it, go to format shape and then choose the option called gradient fill. Now you can choose any of the options that are available in preset gradients. I have chosen this one. The type of gradient is linear and the direction of the gradient is going to be this one which is called as linear up. Now I'm going to systematically replace each of these gradient stops. The first one is going to be in black color. So I'm going to choose the black color here. So it pretty much disappears into the background. Then I'm going to move the second stop from here somewhere to close to 40% range. Now here I'm going to change the color of the second stop by going to the color option here and I'm going to choose a slightly darker gray color. So this is going to be the color and that is beautiful. The next one is going to be the color of yellow. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose this color here, which is the color called orange in under standard color. So I'm going to choose that one. And finally, I'm going to pick up this one, which is the last stop here. And I'm going to choose orange color. Now this is going to be the tail of the explosion. This is the one that is going to fly from the bottom and it is going to trigger the explosion. I'm going to remove the outline for this one and I'm going to make it narrower so that the tail looks far more realistic and we've got our first shape in place. Now the next step is to draw the inner explosion. So let us go to auto shapes menu. Under stars and banners, I'm going to pick up this tool called as 32 point star. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw the star. Then I'm going to hold the yellow button here in the middle, which is the handle. And I'm going to move it to the center so that the star looks a little more like explosion. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Now I'm going to apply gradient fill for this shape. So let us go to the gradient fill option. You can choose the same gradient fill, it doesn't really matter. We are going to change the type of gradient from linear to radial. And then we are going to have the direction from center. So that is very important. So we are going to choose from center. And as you can see here, from here, the various gradient stops are going outwards. Now we are going to change the one in the center to orange color and then we are going to move the next one slightly to the center and then we are going to have that in orange color which is under standard colors and then we are going to choose the next one which is uh, around 83 percent and i'm going to make this the same color that i chose earlier which is black text one lighter 35 percent and i'm going to choose the last stop here and i'm going to make it black i'm going to remove the outline now we are going to draw the bigger explosion, the one that is going to be around this, which is going to 
expand and disappear so that is what we are going to do so let us go to auto shapes menu under stars and banners we are going to pick up the same 32 point star and i'm going to draw this fairly big this time and then i'm going to hold the yellow handle here and i'm going to make the ridges fairly thin as you can see here this is how thin they are and once you are happy with the shape of the explosion the next thing we are going to do is to go to fill and say no fill and we are going to have the line as solid line and we are going to give the color of maybe this orange color under standard colors and we are going to have the width as say one and a half points and then we are going to have the dash type changed to the one which is last but one called as long dash dot so that is how the explosion is going to be now that looks beautiful isn't it in itself it's a very beautiful shape now i'm going to mask the center portion here with a black circle so let us go to auto shapes menu pick up the oval tool hold the shift button down as you draw the circle here shape fill black color shape outline no outline select this and the previous shape go to arrange align and say align center arrange align align middle so this is bang in the middle of the explosion now this is done and i'm going to press ctrl g to group now we have three shapes the first animation that is going to happen is that this is going to fly in and going to trigger this explosion so it is going to fly in so let us go to the fly in option here and it is going to fly in from the bottom which is the uh, natural direction of this fly in motion now next we are going to have this go away and it is going to disappear so let us add another animation don't add an animation here because that will replace the earlier animation choose add animation option now i'm going to choose disappear option now as you can see this flies in and then disappears now i'm going to animate the first explosion effect so i'm going to select the shape here it is going to enter the scene with a zoom so i'm going to go to the entrance animation here and choose zoom animation so that is how it comes in after it zooms in it needs to grow so let us go to add animation under emphasis i am going to choose grow shrink animation and i'm happy with the size of the growth of this animation so it's perfect and i'm going to change the duration of this animation to not more than 0.25 seconds so i'm going to say 0.25 seconds here so it is a fairly quick explosion and as you can imagine this has to happen after it zooms in so i'm going to say this and say after previous for the second uh, the grow shrink animation and now this shape has to exit the scene and for that we are going to go to add animation under exit animation we need more exit effects go down here and the animation that i'm going to choose is called as dissolve out it is under basic and i'm going to say okay and that is how the animation is going to be and let us say this happens after previous now the only sore point so far is that this exit animation is happening on click we don't want that to happen so we are going to move this slightly lower so the order is going to be that this one enters the scene and then this one zooms in so we are going to say after previous so enters after this it zooms and then at that point we are going to have the previous one go away so we are going to say with previous and then this one is going to grow and then dissolve out now we have got two of the animations done and the final animation is going to be for this one we are going to apply pretty much the same animation that we have used for the second one as well let us go to the zoom option to make it enter the scene and it is going to grow shrink so let us go to add animation emphasis and say grow shrink and as you can see the size is fairly perfect we are going to have this happen for 0.5 seconds and then it has to exit the scene so we are going to add animation and under more exit effects we are going to choose the same dissolve out option and now what is the timing for this one we are going to have this object enter the scene while the previous one is growing so i'm going to move this slightly ahead and then i'm going to change this with previous since i said 
while this one is growing this one enters the scene and we are going to have the timing as 0.25 seconds to match whatever is the timing that we have got for the grow shrink animation of the previous one and this animation which is the grow animation is going to happen while the previous one is exiting the scene so we are going to say with previous and then finally after everything is done we are going to have this go away so we are going to say after previous now let us see how this whole thing plays and I'm going to say play all enters and then this burst and then this comes in beautiful isn't it now we are going to have this arranged one on top of the other so I'm going to place this here and then I'm going to send this back by right clicking and say send to back and I'm going to place this somewhere around here and maybe I would like to have this slightly smaller so that the circumference of this is uh, somewhere close to the inner rim of the earlier one and now let us see how this whole thing plays let us go to the slideshow mode that is how the animation happens beautiful and all that is left for us to do is to place this effect on top of the cityscape photo we have got already so I'm going to select this press ctrl A to select everything on the slide and I'm going to press ctrl C to copy and then let me go back to this particular photo and I'm going to press ctrl V which is the shortcut for paste now there is one final thing that is required to complete the effect now if I go to the slideshow mode you will see that this is how the effect is happening the entrance is happening on top of this we don't want that to happen if I show you the previous effect that I had created if you see it is coming somewhere from the middle as you can see it is not coming from down and the way that I achieved it is I have taken this picture and I have made a copy of that picture and I have cropped the uh, top portion so let me do that here again so I am taking this picture I am pressing ctrl D here as the duplicate it is the shortcut for duplicate ctrl D and I am going to go to the format tab in powerpoint ribbon go to crop tool and I am going to crop it all the way till here and then I am going to place this right on top of the previous one and now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how the animation plays now when you see here there is no real difference because this copy is sitting pretty on top of the earlier photo and it has beautifully merged with the background now when I click the entrance happens somewhere in the center and then it explodes now you can make as many copies of this as you want and place them anywhere here and if you do you'll be very happy with the final result that looks really celebratory like this and I would like to use something like this when I want to make an announcement of uh, some sorts or if I want to introduce my incentive scheme or, or something to uh, make people feel motivated I'll use this effect so did you like this interesting animation effect if you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that I have been showcasing all the while in presentation process channel then you will really love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. It is a structured way to master PowerPoint. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program by clicking on the No More button here. And by the way, I hope you liked the tutorial that I taught you in this video. If you did, then I have a wonderful treat for you. I have put together a beautiful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you're a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer or a consultant, then you will find this course extremely useful. You can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here. Sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.